Welcome to another episode of Cam Streamer Talks. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to start your first live stream using only Axis Camera and Cam Streamer app. My name is Pavel Kotiza and I am BDM of Cam Streamer Company, the developer of Cam Streamer applications. Let's visit our website first to download our license code. So hit the try button, select the Cam Streamer app, and we want to get a free trial. I will enter my email. I hit that I agree to the terms. And my license is on the way to my email. Now I can download my files. I will install the camera model I will be used. In this case, I will be using Q3515. And I can see that it's supported by all of our apps. So I will just download the latest version of CamStreamer app. File is downloaded, so I can switch to camera. So before you will install any app, please refer to Axis website and check out that you have the latest firmware available for your camera installed. Now log into your camera. Select the app tab, hit the add button, find the file you just download and start the installation of the CamStreamer app on your Axis camera. It will take a couple seconds. Uh, so meanwhile, you can decide if you want to stream only on YouTube or do you plan to stream on more platforms at once. With the Artpex 6 and 7 cameras, you can stream to up to five, six platforms easily. Just bear in mind that Facebook is only supporting 720p videos and it's better from the load point of view to keep the resolution same for all the platforms you are streaming to. So as you can see, CamStreamer is already installed. We can start the app and log in inside the applications. With a fresh install, you have three choices. You can either start your free trial version, enter the license code you already have, or buy a full version for $2.99. Let's start with the free trial version. Your email is required, and the license code is then sent to your email. I will install my insert my license code, trial license code, which I received on the email just a couple seconds ago. And license code was accepted. So let's start using, using Cam Streamer app. With the Cam Streamer, you need a definition. You need to define what VR will be used for streaming and what service you want to start. So let's assume that I want to start a 24 seven live stream on a YouTube. I will hit the button. You can read the information. And what is required to start a stream? You need to log in to your YouTube account. So let's log in to my YouTube account. I will use my Cam Streamer account in this case. And I will allow Cam Streamer to manage my YouTube channel. So as you can see, I'm now logged in. I can put a name Cam Streamer Talks. In advanced options or in privacy, I can select if the video will be public or unlisted or private. So let's make this video in this case public. You may add some description which will be shown on a YouTube. You can add tags, as you know, from the YouTube. You can add your video to preferred playlist if you wish so, and you can change the latency. Let's put it into ultra low. 
Then in audio and video sections, you need to select the resolution which will be used for streaming. So let's put 7, 720. You may play with the audio. You may choose microphone, line in or audio for or any external audio, including Axis network audio bridge. So let's put a mic, let's use a microphone for audio. Audio option saved. I can close the dialogue window. And what is unique about our Cam Streamer app? Stream is ready. And now we whenever you start and stop the live streaming on a YouTube, it always generates different uh, URL. With the Cam Streamer permanent link, if you will share it, every people will be always forwarded to the latest live broadcast. So I'll copy the file and as you can see on my channel, there is no live stream. So let's start streaming. I will save it first. And let's start the stream. Waiting for YouTube to go live. Be patient. It may take around 60 seconds. If I will open new tab, hit and enter that permanent URL. Camera is still not live, but it will turn instantly. looks like we are already forwarded to the current live stream yes and we are live as you can see we see the preview I will switch back and forth I should be able to see a live video in the list. And my video is live. And that's actually it. That's all you need to set up to make your IP camera live streaming using only camera and Cam Streamer app and internet connection. If you want to pause the stream, you can easily pause it so the URL will still stay the same. If you stop the stream and hit the start again, the final URL will on a YouTube will be different. That's why we provide a permanent links. So let's stop the stream. Stream will be stopped. And with the ultra low latency, the stream should stop in couple, in just a couple seconds. As you can see, video was stopped. That's how easy it is to start your live streaming using Axis Communication Camera and Cam Streamer app. It just took us nine minutes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Cam Streamer talk. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you will be notified about every new video in the cam streamer series on how to use all of our acap apps for access communication cameras my name is pavel kotiza i am bdm here of cam streamer and uh, and if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach us on support at camstreamer.com or visit www.camstreamer.com for more information about our app I'll see you on the next episode of MCAM Streamer Talks.